Hello and welcome to another Red Dead Online video as one of you let a comment on one of my last Red Dead Online video Melody said any beginner's guide for LDO? I don't have any game experience to play LDO because my GPU is trash so I didn't play it a long time and therefore I have decided to make this video giving some of you new players or beginners of how to get started. Bear in mind this is how I started and everyone may start differently. But the main goal here is to make gold bar and cash. To start, I will recommend you to start hunting. You'll be given some cheap guns, so keep hunting at this location. As I will explain to you why later. Until you can afford a Vimet rifle, which is very helpful, and I believe you may have to reach level 8 to get it. You can always do stranger mission to do some mission to rank up, and do stranger mission will also give you cash and gold bar, which is pretty good for gliding gold bar and cash for beginner. Once you got yourself a vomit rifle, you can now start hunting bird better. You can also use that to hunt small animals. But if you want to hunt big animals, you may need these weapons, which is called bow action rifle. You can also use this bow action rifle to do other stranger mission, do some hunting and maybe some PvP if you want to. Then this is how I hunt. Go to this area, follow the train track, start hunting gator. And burst. Then you can follow the same train track and go back to the butcher. And sell your meat, carcasses or feather for cash. And do not forget at this stage, always skin them for more money. But it is also important to grind gold bar now because we now have 5 new roles Bounty Hunter, Trader, Collector, Moonshiner and of course the Naturalize Which all of them will require gold bar And to grind gold bars for those roles you can always do daily challenges as well as stranger mission. You can always do some free room event or some playlist like feature series, shoot out series, take over series and raise series. That will also give you gold bar. And if you lose some of the dead NPC or keep your eyes open, you may lucky enough to find some treasure maps or Rockstar may reward you with some treasure maps that you may find yourself some gold bar and cash of course. Once you have enough gold bar, you can consider 5 of those rows. Personally, I wouldn't bother with the natureless at the beginning because you won't make a lot of money. If you just want to make a lot of cash, then Trader, Collector and Moonshiner is the one you should consider. 
Collector is the best way to make money, even if it is a bit boring. You will need to find Madame Nassar to start the collector business, which will cost you 15 gold bar for the collector's bag. You can either buy collector maps from Madame Nassar or use the collector map on the website link will be in the description. And of course, the location of Madame Nassar change every day. So do consider checking out Rufus the Red's Madame Nassar's location and daily challenge video. The link of his channel will be in the description. You may also get some collection items when you loot NPC, or maybe you may just pass by one. Once you have collected a collection item that is yours, and no one will be able to steal it from you or destroy it, and therefore, collector is also the safest way to make cash. And you can always sell one item at a time or a collection for more money. Trader is a business that relied heavily on hunting and maybe sometimes a free room event called trade route which you will end up having up to 18 goods for your trader business. It helps if you purchase a hunting wagon which you put your animals on if you are too far from your camps and for your trader business do not skin the animals but donate the whole carcasses to crypts to will increase your materials more. Sometimes you may find some legendary animals Kill them will also give a lot of materials to your trader business. If you see a golden question mark flashing in your minimap, that means there is a legendary animal nearby. Moonshiner is a passive business where you will need to pay for the moonshine to be made and sell them later for cash. Collectors can earn you hundreds of dollars if you find the entire collection. Moonshiner up to $247.50. And trade the business up to six hundred and twenty-five dollars per sale. And if you know any friends, and if they help you, or if you help them, you may earn up to three hundred dollars each if you help them. So it would be nice to make friends in Red Dead Online and help each other making money from the trader business, so that you don't need to spend a lot of time on hunting on the first place. Sadly, while those roles does make you a lot of money. They do not make you any gold, except, of course, the bounty hunter, which will make you some gold bar, but not a lot of cash compared to collector, trader, and moonshiner. So you shall only consider that role if you want to concentrate on grinding gold bar, which the starting cost is also 15 gold bar. The starting cost for trader business is also 15 gold bar. And the starting cost for the Moonshiner is 25 gold bar. So, in conclusion, beginners shall consider starting by hunting, doing stranger mission and daily challenge for cash and gold bar. Then they shall consider starting collection for more cash so that they can use the gold bar they make for trader business and the cash to upgrade the trader business by either buying hunting wagon as well as purchasing the large wagon for selling and making the most money. Moonshine business is only there in between so that you can get some extra income and of course if you want to grind gold bar, do bounty hunting as well as daily challenges because we do have road challenges every day and they do reward gold bars. And I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know in the comment section if you have better idea. I read all your comments and as always, thank you so much for watching.